Ladles and gentrymen, welcome back. I am your host, Twisted Teach, and I'm here doing a Rogue Adventure Beginner's Guide, getting all classes from Normal to Inferno 10 difficulty so that you unlock all the class bonuses. Today, we will be going over Ranger Normal. Ranger is a 60 H or health point, or HP, yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, 60 uh, HP uh, class. That's basic, uh, passive states every time you play a combat card. Shoot a piercing arrow that deals two damage to a random enemy. This enemy, this damage completely ignores the enemy shield. Um, and it can be upgraded. The merchant can improve your bow to make it stronger up to four times, increasing the amount of damage it does all the way to six, I believe. It does six damage per shot. So, let's see how many cards we can play today, boys. We're going to go ahead and go gold. If you're comfortable and know what you're doing, you're going down the left side. But if you're a beginner, you're going down the right side. I will be going down the left side since this is beginner. Um, normal difficulty here. Boop. There we go. More than enough damage to block there. Let's go ahead and go. And there we go, more than enough damage to kill him. Thinking that I don't want that. I don't want that, I don't want that. strength resistance later on. Might be a dead card in our hand right now, but should be more than fine later on. Poison, poison. Weak. More than enough to kill this guy, but take a bunch of damage from the werewolf. Almost dead there, and he will die this next turn to poison. There we go. Man. Beastman poison. Let's go. If only they weren't so random, taking so much damage because no defensive cards. This one gives us frail, but it does not stop our damage. Only three armor, which is more than enough to block. There we go. Kill him with poison. Apply four poison with the fairy in your hand. Not enough magic cards to make fairy princess viable. A nice gold chest and a soul's guardian. Extra card play will do. Hmm. Sun priestess. Pretty good. And a wizard's also pretty good. A lot of cards. So you did see that correctly. Every time you go in to buy the ranger upgrade, you can only buy one per trip in. There we go. Kill all of them with uh, mass amounts of poison damage here. There we 
There we go. Just like that. Dead. I think uh, we go past the shield there. So we're going to pick up the lizard fighter for late game. this again block all but one of the damage which is not bad sun priestess sun priestess almost managed to kill that one unlucky um, poison multiply renew the hand there we go. And just like that, the tree is dead. We're going to take the Dark Lord, because he's not a demon, so he doesn't proc our wonderful Sun Priestess. So, veterans, full right side, beginners, you're going to want to actually take this kind of crooked path up the middle here. You're going to go straight left and uh, you're basically going to go into uh, the boss there at the end, but that's fine. Go this. Sun Priestess. Give a little bit of weak. Flip. Give some debuffs. And then, uh... Not able to block his three damage coming in, but we should be fine. There we go. And we kill him. Fairy Queen. Not a bad card to play. We'll go for the boss here. block all but two of the damage coming in. Taking a lot of damage from the stone snakes here. Going to take one damage from them. dead there. Able to take some damage there. We're taking a lot of damage from these. We're going to go ahead and pick up the Chimera. We'll accept that. And we're not going to take the old Jester either. We're going to go here. We'll be able to upgrade. Now does 3 damage and apply 1 weak. That's a change. Interesting. Whenever an enemy dies with poison, it transfers the poison. I think we're going uh, Toxic Master uh, for the build this time. There we go. It's not bad. Poison, as you saw, transferred over to this guy. Give them all weak. Give them poison. There we go. Just like that. Really quick. Mermaid Queen's going to be easy to level. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see how much poison we can get on him in rapid succession. I think 
one more should do it. There we go. And then he dies to poison. Even before he gets the ability to kill us. Gonna go young fox since we're picking up beastman poison call. able to block any other damage incoming. Unable to block the four damage incoming. Taking so much damage unnecessarily. And he dies himself to 31 poison damage that they stacked onto him for me. Take the young fox again. Go in here. Immediately buy the poison upgrade. Take the lizard guard. And then we're one short for applying a toxic wall. Mm. Damn. I guess we go on to the boss. Taking three damage there. Able to block all of his damage. Able to block all the damage, and we have eight strength and eight resistance. So we go Young Fox, extra play. And we just kill him with poison. And we confirm that. And we go on to the next one. So beginners, far right side. Veterans, far left side. Able to... Ooh. Surprisingly managed to kill one of them in turn one. Five defense. Extra mana. There we go. And just like that, poison kills him. Can't apply weak, that's fine. Every shot I do applies weak to him. And poison. There we go, before I took too much damage, luckily. Confirm. like that quick finish one more elite let's see how many fairies we can play in quickly the ability to poison him boom more young fox and a lizard guard I'm gonna take that every time I'm gonna ignore the young witch deals five damage apply one week five poison okay let's see Reroll skills. Can't become frail. Why not? Get another young fox. Get another. Get a lily pup. Get a hundred gold. Let's see what we can do with that. <laughs> Oof, man. 
big boy damage coming through. Not able to block all of his damage incoming, but I should be able to kill him this next turn. And if I can't, well then I have the defense to just tank anything he's got for me. Another wizard of nature. Beginners, far left side. Veterans, you're going to want to go down the middle here. Take the left branch. four of it. They're pretty close together still. Fifty-four damage with Beastman there. Take the chests. Have a bunch of gemstones. Get the gold. Look to see if there's a lily pup. There's not. We go ahead and come down here. Replicate it. Let's go ahead and re-roll skills. Let's buy the fairy doll. Let's become curse resistant. Let's go up the middle. so I don't have to deal with it. Oh man, gonna take 18 damage? That sucks. Take the poison damage and die instantly. I could have played a lollipop, but that's fine. Able to block 18 of the damage. No, of course. Of course the damage comes back to bite me in the ass. Stop that. No, wow, that 
that sucks. I flip him. I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. Stopping him from flipping right away would be the best thing right there. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Now I played that right. Take the Forgotten De Priestess to get rid of debuffs. Can't take that because it's absolutely useless. Nothing to kill. Come over here, buy the extra health. Come over to skills. Take the. Can't be weakened. And let's go. That's fine. Let's see if I can one shot elemental evil. Just like that, you manage to kill Elemental Evil even with a deck that uses strength and resistance like a crazy motherfucker. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Ranger Normal Difficulty. If you have any questions, feel free to type below in the comment section and I'll be sure to read them in order to explain further on, or maybe make a better guide. I know these guides are probably not the best, but they'll get you somewhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, Ranger Normal Difficulty.